Hello, in this video, here's the process for setting up your PC to run Windows 10 Diskless. Server refers to the PC running Windows Server with ISCSI target service acting as remote disk server. Client refers to the diskless PC booting OS remotely over Ethernet. Assign a static IP address in Windows Server. Here, you can then fill in the information that's required to make the change to a static IP, making sure to update the network mask, default gateway, and DNS IP address. Using Server Manager, install ISCSI target feature. We want to install file and ISCSI services. To do that, expand file and storage services, expand file and ISCSI services and select ISCSI target server. Once installation completes, click on close. Create a disk folder to carry VHDX files. Share ISCSI virtual disks folder with rear and write permission. Go to ccboot.com and download Windows 10 Super Image to boot clients. Then convert VHD to VHDX using Hyper-V Manager. Enable the Hyper-V role through settings. Select programs and features on the right under related settings. Select turn windows features on or off. Select Hyper-V and click OK. When the installation has completed you are prompted to restart your computer. Launch Hyper-V manager and from the right side action pane and select edit disk. The Edit Virtual Hard Disk Wizard starts, click Next to get past the initial screen. Enter the name and location of the existing VHD file and click Next. Select Convert and click Next. Select the VHDX file format and click Next. Complete the wizard by selecting the settings you need. This process makes an exact copy of your existing VHD file, except now it's in the new VHDX format. Copy VHDX file to ISCSI Virtual Disks folder. Click on iSCSI. Choose Import iSCSI Virtual Disk. Browse and choose your VHDX file. Choose New iSCSI Target.
add MAC address of client to ISCSI initiator list. Server manager is showing all data for ISCSI target. Go to reboot.pro and download tinyPXE server. Edit the iscuzzy.ipsy file as above. Update config.ini file as above. Allow SCSI service and TinyPXE server to pass through firewall. The setup is complete, let's see the results. Thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe.